Hi, I'm Grace Dawes. I'm the editor of Movement. I'm here at Move 2024 today and I'm joined by Danny Shapiro, the VP of Automotive from NVIDIA. Thank you so much for joining me today, Danny. So great to be here. Great, I'm glad. How's your Move experience been so far? I understand it's still it's still early on day two. You haven't been here for that long, but so far, initial impressions? Uh, the show's great. Uh, the number of people here, the number of exhibitors is wild. I'm really impressed by the startups. Amazing number of startups really need innovation that we're seeing here on the show floor. Great, well, I'm really happy to hear that. Not many people say that about the startups, so it's nice for them to get that recognition. Uh, I understand you took part in your keynote panel this morning. What are your main takeaways from that talk? What did you discuss in it? I, I did sit in it, but for the viewers, can you just tell us a bit about what you contributed to it and what you heard in it, anything that surprised you? Well, we were talking about autonomy. Yeah. And the reality is everything that moves will be autonomous, whether it's cars or trucks or robo-taxis and you know, a whole slew of different kinds of robots. Um, we've been working on this for a decade now, developing the core technologies. We're not building the robots, really. We're not building the cars, but we work with hundreds of partners who are developing the solutions that will go to market. And so we're this enabling technology, both the hardware and the software, um, it's been so exciting to see what our customers are doing with the technology and how they're leveraging really three computers now that we build. One uh, that's in the data center, and that's what we use to train all the artificial intelligence. Um, then there's a computer for doing simulation. We want to be able to test and validate, make sure it's safe. That's what's really, really key. And then there's the computer that goes inside the robot, inside the car, or the truck, or the robo-taxi, and that's our drive platform. And so NVIDIA's hardware and software is really integral throughout every phase of developing these autonomous vehicles. Yeah, great. I know, obviously, safety was a really big topic this morning, and you were joined by Baidu and lots of other companies. And you say that you partner with these people, you know, they help you in developing that process. What is it that NVIDIA do specifically? I know you use these other companies to help you along the way, but what is it that your main focus is? So, so we're developing both the hardware and the software that's that base platform, just like you know, your iPad here, right? There's a process in it, there's an operating system, but then other people develop apps. Yeah. So we're developing hardware and software, again, both in the data center, the cloud, um, at the edge, inside the vehicle. And then companies, whether it's our partners like Mercedes-Benz and Jaguar Land Rover, that you know, they're customers that they're buying our technology, but then we're jointly developing it. So it's this nice partnership that we have together. So it's not like we're a supplier to the industry. We're a technology partner. We co-develop it with them. And the reality is the software is never going to be done. We'll continue to develop and enhance it, improve it. It's a continuous cycle. Over the air updates then will make these vehicles better. And so it's a very long-term technology partnership that we have with all these different companies. So whether it was Volvo on the trucking side, Baidu on robo-taxis, OXA and their software development, they're all part of our ecosystem. They're building on NVIDIA. Yeah, great. And like you said in your panel, it's coming. Autonomy is coming. And speaking of the future of what's coming, I understand that this year you, NVIDIA have announced two new AI chips. Can you tell me a bit about the one that is most the newest, well, not the newest one, but the one that's going to be launching this year. What's different about it? How's it going to change the game for autonomous vehicles? And then any anything that's going to come up in the future for NVIDIA? And so we're um, developing these different platforms and it's not even just about a chip, right? That's one aspect of it. We're creating um, very, very high performance processors. And so we have our GPUs, the graphics processing unit. It started from graphics, but now it's really, it's an AI supercomputer. Um, but then we create the whole platform, so there's networking that's part of it, there's CPUs and GPUs and DPUs, data processing, and we have deep learning accelerators. So there's a lot of technology that gets packed into these extremely high performance chips. Um, there's billions and billions of transistors. So we have different flavors of these processors. Some go in a vehicle and they have to be automotive grade, so they can operate at very low temperatures in the winter, very hot temperatures in the summer your consumer electronics devices will shut down, right? If you leave it on the dash in the car, it's, your iPhone's gonna turn off. So we have to ensure that the automotive processors can work in all conditions. Also, there's extra shock and vibration and dust. It's, it's really a different kind of um, a harsh environment. So we have to create a product that can work in the car. But then we also have products that go into the data centers. And again, those will be a different type of processor um, for basically training 
all of the AI that then will run in the vehicle. And so Blackwell is our new platform architecture that we, we recently launched. And again, this is just upping the level of performance by a massive amount and really being able to do it very energy efficiently. That's key because when you start building out thousands and thousands of these processors in a data center, whether you're Amazon or Google or Microsoft, those are our big customers that are building these data centers and OpenAI that's running ChatGPT, it's all based on NVIDIA. So we have to be super energy efficient and so that's a big part of what we do. But also as artificial intelligence continues to really evolve so quickly, we need to stay ahead of that in developing the hardware platforms that a lot of the software environment up to enable these new kinds of models and new applications that are built on it. So we've now announced that every year we're bringing out a new architecture. The technology is moving so fast. It used to be basically every two years. We're now upping the game and every year there's going to be that incremental boost in performance and capability. Great. Well, I'm very excited to see the response to that launch that will happen this year. And lastly, I just wanted to ask you, Danny, why do you think Move, the Move event, is important? Why have you decided to speak here? Why is it important for the mobility industry to have this event? Well, we think everything that moves will be autonomous. And so all different types of vehicles, but also, I mean, robots in general, whether they're fixed um, in a factory, they're still moving and they have to be able to then adapt to their environment. This is where artificial intelligence is going to really play a big role. Um, humanoid robots, um, medical and surgical robots. I mean, we're just getting started. And so at this event, we just see so many innovative companies. Um, this is thirst for knowledge that people come here for and the ability to um, learn, I think it's just really paramount here. So uh, it's exciting to see the diversity of people and companies that are at Move. And so NVIDIA partners with thousands of startup companies. We have something called Inception, um, that's a program that we have for startups and we really want to help them be as successful as possible. And it's so cool to see all the startups here and um, people come up to me and, and they talk about what they're doing. There's a, a company over here using our robotics platform. He's super excited to, to show it to me and it's, it's really neat to see that energy here at the conference. Amazing. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. Autonomy fits everywhere throughout this conference. You're right. But thank you so much for taking the time to chat to me today, Danny, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at Move. Thanks, it's really great to see you.